Wow. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Received Podcast. Are you the ev- most punctual start to a podcast ever? This week, we were one by, second late. This week, brought to you by Dollar Shave Club and Squarespace. Where are my graphics at? There they are. Dollar Shave Club, Squarespace. Point up, Chris. Squarespace. There you go. We'll nice. talk more about them later. Gav, you almost take out your penis every week. You just, it was out. You just didn't see it. No, <laughs> what? I could, come I on. Like, just away. fucking do I, I'm tired. Is no one else like just. You got blue balls? Yeah. Just do it. How, uh, how week, gay are you? This week. <laughs> this week. <laughs> this week's podcast with Gus. <laughs> Gavin. Fred. Chris. And like, w- Gus. Like, wh- wh- how much money would it take for you to do a gay thing? Oh, what, man. We talked what? about this. It depends <laughs> which gay thing. Uh, knob in the ass. That's not that bad. <laughs> it's the mouth. So wait, how much? That's the thing. <laughs> no, no, that's see, I disagree with that. That's, that's, that's when it, it doubles. No, no, no. Speaking I, speaking of butts, Brandon did something very nice for me <laughs> a little earlier today. What? Put his knob in your ass. <laughs> I was uh before the podcast oh. started. I was uh, heading out to, to to use the bathroom over in the bungalow, and I crossed Brandon in the parking lot. He's like, "Hey," he goes, "Hey, you you going to the bathroom in there?" I go, "Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my business." He said. Make sure you use the second one. Don't go into the first one. Uh, <laughs> I was like, all right. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. You have some issues in there? <laughs> no, I just got back from it. So you saw. You didn't. Oh, no. I wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> I wrecked shop. Yeah. Um, I was at the... Uh, this is going to be the worst segue ever. I was at the liquor store earlier. and uh, Is that booze? I, I saw this. <laughs> it looked like a big bottle of water. Yeah. But it's a, a big bottle of uh, soju, which is a uh, Korean liquor. I think you've drank oh, this I had that at your house. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is not the brand I normally drink. Chum Churum. But would you like some Chum Churum Chum? <laughs> I would. Yeah. I would very much like some. Did you just it? buy it because of the name? I, I bought it because it's this fucking plastic bottle. If, you, if you're listening to the audio version, this is like what, like a one liter, one and a half? No, it's a one point seven five liter plastic bottle. It looks like it's water, but it's filled. With alcohol. Can you imagine being really thirsty? You know, yeah, that's, think say, that's how you get a track runner drunk. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What's the percentage on that? Uh, 19. Bugger me. So that'll, that'll ruin your life. I, that will. Cups for, I, I had some leftover cups from uh, this past week. It's episode basically like spot. a bottle of poison. It is. Have you ever woken up oh, in the look, morning there's, there's and uh, grabbed right some there. water after like, you know, a night of drinking before? And the water is actually vodka. No, but like I you did just it. like chug, like, and it's just. Is this a cup with I've a cup? I've done it after it? running. Yeah. Like I ran back to my. Um, Why would you have just out. liquor hanging out while it was, after it was you're whenever, running? Whenever it was uh, under twenty one, and I had to hide it. <laughs> so I had a little. I had a water bottle of of vodka. This so smells like Everclear. You already spilled it. I didn't. That so was, oh. these these cups were from uh, on the spot. I didn't realize it when I bought them, but mm. apparently they've got like little shot glasses in the middle. So you could pour a shot if you wanted to. Uh, then you have to oh, tip it like out. a little sombrero or something. Mm. Yeah, it's like a reverse sombrero. So, cheers, chums. It kind of tastes like water. <laughs> you just <laughs> say that because it's in. No, the no, no. It really does. Bottle. Is it any good? Mm. Right. No, it tastes like uh, it tastes like someone just like slightly bad. alcoholic water. Yeah, Semi normal brand, but it'll do. It'll get the job done. <laughs> you, ever, you ever had soju before? No. It's really good. It's really easy. It's kind of sake esque. Uh, I think they're both. Similar. Same family. I, I, I think they can be made from rice. I think this one was ma- said it was made from sweet potato. Oh God! I don't S- uh, spirits distilled from sweet potato and alcohol. They distill spirits <laughs> from alcohol. <laughs> but you can make you can make anything alcoholic if you just ferment it, right? I think it has to have sugar, right? But because like any sort of organic matter, right? Well, you can get like, of it. like a carrot. Or I was gonna say like a if you fermented like a human arm. Oh, they <laughs> yeah. say a baby. Why? Why did you go to baby? Well, is human arm is that really more normal than a baby? Well, well I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you? Both of you. <laughs> <laughs> that side of the podcast is weird. Yeah, that's. Yes. A, that, I'm glad you're on my side over here, Gavin. Hey, what's up? <laughs> the two G's. Well, so, oh, yeah. uh, I don't know that you can make alcohol from anything. I saw something on Reddit a couple of weeks ago where, during prohibition, some company would mail if you re- if you ordered it, they would mail you basically like a brick of concentrated grape juice along with like water and a package of yeast and instructions that said do not combine all of this and store it for three weeks otherwise it'll become <laughs> alcoholic <laughs> <laughs> which is like the, the it's so clever yeah the the it's it's funny the workarounds that people will will develop to get around laws that they don't agree with it's funny to think about the stuff that would have topped reddit but from in the past before reddit well, that would be at the top. Yeah, like make, make your own wine. That would home. be viral for sure. <laughs> viral. They have Reddit like uh, from like 
the 1900s or no sorry like from go like on 1910 yeah it was called the newspaper no 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 i'm serious like they have like fake reddit <laughs> forums where people just post like funny stuff oh. as if it was that year right that's a thing yeah that doesn't sound very funny <laughs> dismissed <laughs> <laughs> see you later <laughs> Just like I, I can't picture it. it's like when Bernie does his old timey voice, like oh, okay, yeah, it's a little funny, and then it just gets old. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie's not here today, so I figure we can make fun of him. So all he's day. Paulie. Bernie. He he was supposed to be on the podcast today. Thanks, Brandon. You 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 were uh, you you were. Thanks a, for letting everybody know that I'm the uh, <laughs> villain. He was supposed to be on the choice. podcast today, uh, but this afternoon he uh, just decided he was uh, he was feeling too sick. He was too under the weather. To be mm. fair, he did do. St- you just did three night shoots. Didn't you just do three night shoots? Yeah. But I don't take sick days. Never have. <laughs> Are you sick? No. I saw a picture of you passed. It looked like you were passed out like at four in the morning. Well, with my face was squashed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Michael showed me another one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It looked. It, your face looked like... The one where I'm like the... slumped in the helmet. No, yeah, yeah. It yeah. looked like you from the Rainbow Six Let's Play. Where you're <laughs> face, except your eyes were closed instead of open. <laughs> you, it, was t- it was tiring. Do you acknowledge being sick? Or do you feel like you live in denial? When you actually are ill? No, I just, you know, you ignore it. I've never been sick enough to take a day off. Really? I've never in my life had a sick day from anything, really. Except it was like physical ailment. Like. I, I missed, I missed a bit I, of school I, when I uh, smashed the back of my head and went blind. I assume you probably missed work or school or something when you had to have your ball surgery. No. What? You, you just, no. you were at school. Because it happened there. on Christmas Day, so I was off work anyway. Oh. And then you were like, when was your next day of work? Was it probably like five days later? I oh. used to just work weekends. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you lucked out. Yeah, that, that I feel like a ball injury is definitely the kind of thing that would keep you out of work. Yeah, I would have taken. There was a time recently where I was absolutely sick. I had food poisoning, but it was right in the middle of a big scene in Laser Team, and mm. I couldn't take it off because it would like screw the whole shoot. It's like yeah. a big, big dialogue day. So I just went in and I was just packing my space suit with <laughs> bog roll and stuff. <laughs> I, I, tr- I try not to take sick days, but I feel like every now and then, every, like every couple of years, I'll, something will happen that'll make me sick for like a week and I can't get out of bed. And then yeah. I, I like it's, I'm just forced to oh, not come into work. Do you know what Jack's doing tomorrow? He's having a personal day. What does that mean? Well, he's just, it's the day after a convention, so he's like, I'll take a day off. <laughs> I was yeah. sick for like six weeks straight. Do you remember like three years ago? It's like every morning I'd wake up with a fever, and yeah. then slowly as the You'd day goes shiver. on, that'd be go- yeah, I'd like shiver. Like I, when I'm, like, I'm why sleeping, are you shaking I'm like, at yeah. your desk. Did yeah, you have a and I went cough to- for like a year. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, it was a general time. And then I went to the doctor, and I'm like, what's wrong with me? They're like, oh, it's, you know, viral. And I was like, what? They're like, just give it some time. It's viral. It'll be at the top of Reddit tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's like, can't you just give me something? Just tell me that th- there's an antibiotic. There's something to cure and give it to me. Because I, I, I would say it means I don't know. That's him saying I don't know what it is. Yeah. The, did you? Did anybody here see the, the Vice special episode documentary about uh, curing cancer? No. I guess it aired like two weeks ago, and uh, it's like a 40-minute long piece. It was on HBO, um, and they talk about how there's researchers in the United States. I forget it everywhere. Well, like one of them was at the Mayo Clinic. One of them was at the MD Anderson Center in Houston, um, and another one was in, I want to say Pennsylvania somewhere. But it's like these, these different research, these different doctors who are doing this research where they are taking diseases to kill cancer in the human body. So like one of them had manipulated the genetic makeup of smallpox and was infecting people with this genetically modified smallpox to remove the cancer from their body. So it's like cockfighting for diseases. Yeah. yeah. So one of them was using smallpox. One of them was using, uh, I forget what it's called, like the adenovirus. It's what causes the cold. And the other one was using HIV. (laughs) Did you (laughs) imagine yourself getting AIDS so that you didn't have cancer? And it was was really remarkable. Um, I want to say the ones that were using HIV were at the Mayo Clinic. I could be wrong on that, but um, they, they, they showed uh, this case. Uh, I want to say this little girl was eight years old and had leukemia. Uh, so they gave her this genetically modified HIV. They just injected her with it, and they said that she developed like a fever of like 105 for like a month. And they was, she was pretty much like bedridden, couldn't do anything, just completely non-functional for a month. And that after the month, her leukemia was gone. Bollocks. And that, and that was like, I want to say that was like four or five years ago. And that she's just totally fine. See, the, the, the that's a thing. That's, I'm a little burnt out on like cures for s- stuff, you know. You're a little like, burnt out what? on cures for stuff. No, no, no like I'm I, sick of all these people <laughs> surviving cancer. No, 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 no. I don't mean it like that. I mean, as in, I've heard people say like, "Oh yeah," like I've seen like those news posts. It's like possible cure for 
cancer or a cure for HIV, it's always like some post about like someone who might have gotten the cure, but it's never. That it's was still so not many air quotes. <laughs> you think it's you know, you know, crazy? You know like you, you, everyone's seen like I've read at least five stories about the cure for HIV, like possibly. You got to keep people optimistic. Yeah, but it's like. Well, in this case, it's three different groups approaching it three different ways. Yeah, but so how did it work? Did it was it just like the leukemia was just like oh this she, she got AIDS well, I'm out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Apparently, what they would do is they would modify, um, like they talked really in depth about the smallpox one, so I can talk a little more intelligently, uh, intelligently uh, about that one. But they modified the like I said the the genetic makeup of the smallpox so that it wanted to bind to cancerous cells, like the protein that it would bind to was the protein that was found in a cancer cell, but not found in a normal cell. So uh -huh. it would go in, it would bind to them, and when it would do that, normally I guess cancer always tries to suppress your immune system so your immune system doesn't fight it. So when the smallpox would attack it, it would alert your immune system to the cancer as well. It would be like, hey, come check this shit out. Uh -huh. then, it, <laughs> then it would, the smallpox would uh, make copies of itself and then just make the cancer explode with more smallpox, which would then go into other cancer, call the immune system in, then explode with more smallpox. It's like battle bots. <laughs> I like the idea of the, it being alerted, like alerting the body to the cancer. It's like, have you seen all this shit? It's like nine one one. You know, <laughs> so, hello, immune system. <laughs> hey, uh, we've got some cancer down here. Uh, That's like a, a robber breaking into someone's house and seeing like a fire and being like, uh, yes, yeah, uh, this house I'm breaking into is on fire. <laughs> you might want to come check this out. <laughs> would you do that if you were breaking into a house? You know, I probably would. No, because it would destroy the evidence. Yeah, but I'd feel bad. I guess because you'd ruin. I guess all if I was a thief, anyway. You'd ruin all their stuff. There's no way if you were caught that they wouldn't do you for arson. But let me tell you this: if you stole the stuff, you'd be doing them a favor because it's still, <laughs> still going to be destroyed anyway. It's like it's going to be destroyed. At least you'll so, get some use. Yeah. So you're like, yeah, it's like you see. So is that okay if you see a house burning down? It's okay to go <laughs> steal from it. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Trust me. You just, I, People will think that you're helping, like trying to get valuables out. You're yeah. like, just put them in the car. Put them in the quick, car. Quick. All right. I gotta go. There's I gotta no time go. to explain. I'm taking it to them. I'm taking it somewhere colder. <laughs> so yeah, it's absolutely, it's absolutely okay then. Yeah. It doesn't work the other way around. Like if you, if you see someone robbing the place and you just burn the place down. <laughs> I, I tried trying to burn down that Molotov. robber. <laughs> I was trying to burn the robber down. But it's okay if you see like bugs in the house. Then you can burn it down. You are you grossed out by bugs at all? No, a cockroach is a bit weird, but I'm okay with most. Do you have most. roaches in the UK? Not really. They have roaches I everywhere, think. I thought. But, I but mean, they're not like here where they're all fucking huge and disgusting. Nah. I mean, I ever since I put a cup on one and it started running around with a cup on top of it, I've been pretty grossed out by it. A couple of Dixie cups just... <laughs> That's like battle bots. Yeah. Why does that process make it gross? Because they're powerful it's enough it's to do intimidating. It's else? an intimidating thing to... I don't know, I haven't put a cup on many things. But a fish probably would get the cup off. What about a kitty? <laughs> no. Someone uh, just said, uh, instead of battle box, who is this? Spartan Smile said, instead of battle bots, it should be battle pox. Oh. Hey. Which is pretty good. So nice one. Thanks, Spartan Smile, for that. <laughs> um, did anybody else watch the, the, the Apple press conference? No, I don't know anything about it yet. What's, what was the news? New, uh, They're making a watch. Yeah. Well, well they announced prices. That. Okay. Yeah. Did so there's. Let, let me. Let me. Let me. Send, did you all watch it? Don't say. Just say yes I, or I no. Know. Okay. So I'm gonna run a little experiment with with Gavin here. So you don't know anything about it. They announced three different watches, like three different tiers. How much do you think an Apple Watch would cost? Which one? Say the lowest tier. Uh. Three hundred bucks. Pretty close. Three forty nine. Oh wow. So I was thinking way more. What would you think for like a mid tier, starting price? Five hundred, pretty close. Five forty nine. Oh. The mid tier. Two thousand. Just, just got to add forty nine to all my guesses. Yeah. Top tier. How much is the most? What what price does the most expensive Apple Watch start at? Five thousand and forty nine dollars. What do you say? Oh, um, well, my initial guess was the low tier was eight hundred. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I guess yeah, five thousand sounds right. Starts at ten thousand dollars. Whoa. So why not just buy a Rolex or it something? It goes up to seventeen thousand dollars. What option is well, seventeen grand? It's just like a different. I think it's just well, like a different it's color. It's just gold, right? It's like buying, you're just buying jewelry at that point. Yeah, so but wait, if you buy the cheap, expensive one, uh, three forty nine. It's no, oh, what's it made out of? No, what's the one that's what the three forty nine one? What was the one that wasn't the most expensive? Five forty nine. It's three forty nine, five forty nine, ten thousand dollars. But then you said there was one that was seventeen. Oh, and then yeah, then so what was the ten? 
the 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 ten is the base price for like that tier. Uh, it's I I think it's also gold, but then I think the seventeen thousand dollar one is rose gold or something. Ah, get out of it! I only buy rose gold. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, like, the thing you that looks so many gold watches. Well, the thing that drives me crazy is like you said, why don't you just buy a Rolex at that point? At least if you buy a Rolex, a Rolex is fucking expensive. At least if you buy a Rolex, Rolex isn't making a new fucking watch next year that makes the old watch obsolete. <laughs> mm. It's like, can you imagine? Could it's you, like, yeah, but the whole point, but though, could you take the, the like, the, is that just a wrist sweet. thing, and maybe you could take the casing from it and just put the new... That looks like how, a, uh, a mug me beacon. How old, <laughs> how old is Rolex, though? What do you mean? How a old a company? Like, how uh, long have they been making watches? I think they've been established for a few years. Okay. <laughs> They've they've never changed the watch. Like right. there's a difference between changing it every year and making it better than like never. So is there no modern Rolex that's got all the the modern features? I guess well, relatively. Well, what do you consider changed? modern? Because yeah. it's like, like Apple. So like a digital talent. face. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. This Rolex has a calculator on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like Bluetooth or something. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think it's just a watch. Some people just have to buy huh. fifteen thousand dollar watches. And then that's just a new thing. It's what like best. that app. It's like that app that was like. Is that I'm a real rich, thing? The I'm Rich app that was like 10 grand and it didn't do anything, but it's like. It flashed red. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, well, I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you only had but, to... but at least that, you could like download it again to another phone. <laughs> like you could, if you upgraded your device, the or software Or you could download it you. to your $15,000 watch. I think you were going to buy one of those before the next one comes out. No. Absolutely Did not. Did you buy an iPad before the iPad 2 came out? No. Well, fuck me. Okay, I uh, I used to not buy the first version of stuff because yeah. it's crap. Like the first iPhone was a, an absolute turd; didn't do anything. But I did buy the first iPad, and I probably will get a watch. If it, I'll probably get the cheap. But see, you wear a watch. Three hundred and fifty. Yeah, what you wear a watch. Yeah, I haven't worn a watch. <laughs> what the fuck's on your hand? Uh, it's just sharpies. You got clubbing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So you don't wear a watch? Do you wear a watch, Brandon? Laying it. I've never want to watch my, I, my. I had a watch in like high school, and it's like, well, here's the thing. That goes <laughs> I outgrew in my drawer. it. I grew yeah. time. Yeah. What I look well, like? I have a phone. <laughs> yeah, but this is quicker than. Yeah. Okay. On the count of three, what time is it? I know. I already know the time. I already know it. Seven forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just faster. Plus, also, and it's dumb. I have the date on my. Phone. <laughs> I, know, I know. I know. It's on the phone as well. But it's just like, okay, okay. Yeah. Like sometimes when I'm talking to people, I think they. I think sometimes when I'm making plans with people, they think I'm an idiot. Because, uh, you know, they'll be like, oh, why don't we, uh, you know, meet up on the 13th or something. We're like, oh, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Like, why are you looking at your watch? Oh, now, now I know today's the 9th. Yeah, in yeah. my head, I know. Well, but the thing, the nice thing about a watch is it's a nice way of saying I'm busy. <laughs> like, you, 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 you do that. Uh, you can, you can still at... do that without a watch. It just means you're kind of no, an asshole. Like, you, your... you go clubbing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's you grab like... your phone. Yeah, I'm honestly amazed that the watch is it, still it, going mm. strong. Like, if anything, we should be thankful for Apple and Samsung and all these pebble things for keeping an old piece of crap alive. <laughs> like, I think there'll be a time in hundreds of years where this would, would confuse a kid, like, doing that. Like, they wouldn't associate oh, yeah, yeah. that with it's checking like, it's the like time. It's like a phone now. It's like you go like this. When kids, like, pretend to talk on the phone, they yeah. don't do this. They go this. Do they? Do they? they, they really? Instead are, of listening. Are you, are you of, hanging out in the playground a lot? <clears throat> I just, no, this is what I heard from a friend who's a teacher. I wonder uh, if... Uh, instead of using, like, the phone signal, they, use, they just make their hand flat. I wonder really? if they're taking pictures, yeah. they don't do this anymore. Maybe They'll just go like this. this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting, mm. right? Kids mm. are stupid. We're going to be really old and dead one day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do people still say, do kids still say tape it? Like if they're going to record something? Oh, like, I bet not. Probably not, huh? I don't know. <laughs> you don't need to record. What well, are you someone, recording? the other day, someone like DVR was, stuff. You don't need to. It's just, you can just do watch it right now. What? You can just go watch anything. You just stream it. No, no, no. It's but, all stream. That, 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 but I don't think there's any like, sense record of recording something. Yeah. something. Well, what if you, t if you, <sighs> but so, so the the other day speak. someone was uh, like describing what I did, and they said, "Oh, he like videotapes stuff," <laughs> and I was like, was "I didn't want to correct him because I, I didn't want to be like, well, technically we don't use tape anymore." <laughs> <laughs> Although people still use tape for backups and crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like I don't go vi videotaping. It's true. Yeah, yeah. We just had a meeting this morning about how we're doing backups to tape now. Oh, we're doing that here. Yeah, we uh -huh. got the meeting this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we have tape. Oh, I hosted it. You I know. It. I, I I poked my head out the door. I saw that you were up there. Wait, <laughs> you were in the office? I was working. <laughs> it's what? required. Why didn't you come out? I Everybody was editing. I had, to, I had to submit a video by midday. It wasn't gonna take that long. Well, what Gus, I missed? It was a good. It was a. Good... Well, you missed the conversation about taping stuff. Oh, I got, I got caught up. There we, go. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should uh, we should have a special 
summary meeting for you on during the podcast. Go over things that you missed. There should be some kind of company etiquette because I was so ready to send a response to the next person to do a reply all whenever someone sends out an important email to the company and it's just like a dumb, you know, like meme or like a dumb joke. Because, I mean, Gus, you get how many emails do you get a day? Um, a couple hundred, 200 yeah. something. So it's annoying when you get spammed by something that you don't need to read. And I was just like gearing up. I was like, everybody's going to agree with me. It's going to be so great. And then fucking Daniel from my department sends the <laughs> dumbest meme in the world. And I'm like, I can't fucking say anything. I can't say anything because everybody's going to be like, well, you guys do it too. And like, I, I, it's, is it not frustrating for anybody else? I don't get this because, well, I've blocked like 20 people. At the from, company? From email. Yeah. I can only receive emails from a certain select few. That I, and, can you get can you get emails from me? Yeah, because you don't send dumb dumb crap very often. Yeah. Did you block Shane? Shane's gone. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna go through the whole list. It's a long list, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, so why 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 did you feel like you couldn't say anything if it was your own department? You should be able to call out your own department. You should be able to call out your own to them. But then if I like tell the rest of the company, you guys need to stop doing this. They're gonna be like, "Well, you asshole, you guys are the one that are problem." Even though like we've done it like. I don't know, like once every like few months. And it's usually funny. <laughs> See, the best of problem. <laughs> Everyone who sends it thinks that it's no, funny. No, 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 no. No, this was funny. What? It's not a perspective. It's perspective. It? I don't know. What was the last one? We, I don't, I don't know. Together. I'm not going to say I'm not gonna I say. I think you guys funny. have too much free time. That's not true. Just like what are you working on that you have time to like make I don't send. I don't send. As line. you said so yourself, I don't send. Uh, whatever you yeah, but he was like confirmed with you, like you came up with it. Oh, you've done it. Not really. Oh, you've done it. I don't know that Chris has. I, the last time I remember doing it was uh, when there were like twelve people in the office. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I remember when there, at a certain point there were too many people, and I was like, then people started writing emails that it's like there's too many people. I'm just done. I'm done writing group emails. And you get an email, you're like, who is this person? Yeah. A, 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 a peek into the thought process of Chris Maris. Do you have anyone blocked? Um, no, no one here at the company. I'm pretty sure I have people outside the company blocked. I, I try to do, like what I did for a long time was I tried to just set a complex series of filters. Right. So that everything would get sorted into the appropriate folders. And I knew that stuff that made it through all the filters, I really needed to look at right away. But I've, I've given up on that. I quit that. What were your level of filters? I had so many filters. Did I never show you like an old screenshot? It's so. like, you know, in mail uh, on the Mac, you can go through and like, it's like your preferences window is normally like that big. Yeah. Mine was like that big because <laughs> there were just so many like filters to move all the messages around. It's like, that's, that, it's, it's dumb. That's such an important part of like managing your time is like doing this work so that you can do more work later. It's like, what? And, and that. I hate email <laughs> because I feel like anytime I respond to an email, it just generates another email. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it, so I try to respond as little as possible now. <laughs> well, like without any questions. Right. Or <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll let a conversation, if it seems like the conversation's complete, I won't reply with like, okay, thanks or right. whatever. Just like, okay, we're done. It's so done, did people yeah. just not talk about stuff as much? Like before email really became super popular? Well, now it's like people can talk about inane things. Like before you had to see someone face to face. You're like, oh, I only have a few minutes to see this person. We're going to talk about important stuff. Now like email and texting, it's like, oh, I'm going to send whatever the fuck I think to this person. Yeah. And the worst, the worst is, so there's some people who, who, do, not, fired up here. who do not know how to answer questions. So I'll go out of my way sometimes to make like bullet points. Question? Question, you know, <laughs> question. That way it's just like, oh, you just have to answer these. And then I'll still get replies that are like, you didn't answer anything. You know what they, they should do with email? They should have a, a mode where you can make a form in the email and the person can't reply until they've completed but, fields. See, that's more work. Did you work? They'll complete it, but they won't answer it. That's that's what I'm complaining about is they'll, okay. they'll reply with an answer, but it doesn't answer the question. Oh. So they're not Have just you skipping. never experienced this? I guess you block people, so <laughs> you don't see it. <laughs> It's so fucking frustrating because I try to make it as easy as possible. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little on edge right now. So what else did Apple announce? Uh, oh, oh, oh! Did they, they do did, more watch stuff? They, they did announce about? some more cool stuff. I'm, I'm gonna read this. Then okay. I'm gonna tell you what else they announced. Um, I want to remind everyone: this episode of the podcast is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. 
Everyone here in the studio loves getting razors delivered from dollarshaveclub.com. They ship them straight to our doors for a couple dollars a month. I can't imagine shaving without them. I uh, just have one question. Why isn't everyone a dollarshaveclub.com member? You don't need to worry about commitment. Dollarshaveclub.com has no contracts. And if you don't want razors for a month or two, they won't send any and you don't pay a dime. There's no hidden fees. In fact, there's no fees at all. Just pay for the stuff you order. They even have free shipping. Get their four blade razor and their four replacement blades sent to your door each month for six bucks, including shipping. Their razors are amazing. And if you aren't 100% happy, dollarshaveclub.com will refund your money. No questions asked. There's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be a member of dollarshaveclub.com. Stop hesitating. Go sign up at dollarshaveclub.com slash roosterteeth right now. You'll be happy you did. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash roosterteeth. Seriously, if you need a razor, it's super cheap. There's no reason not to. Like, that's probably the easiest sale you can make. Yeah. It's six I bucks. I like automating and crap. Great. Yeah, you know? and you don't worry about it. It's like it shows up, you're there, you're done. Anytime you can just like, like have, because I hate having to go to, I hate buying crap, like toilet paper. I you know, automate that. Dude, oh, I buy Instacart. Instacart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I get everything. You know I, got, I got really mad. <laughs> I've been, we'll get to it in a bit, but I got really mad the other day because my Instacart driver showed up like 30 minutes past like the window of time I had selected. I was like, I've been waiting for this person. Fucking show up 30 minutes late. Then she was like, oh, you know, sorry, I'm late. Then I'm like, she's like handing me my groceries. She's like, oh, these bags aren't yours. These are someone else's. It's like, well, that's why you're late. You're getting someone else's shit. <laughs> so yeah. you want them to only go for you. Yes. That's you what do I'm the thinking. service that you're paying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You pay for to have it available at this time. In the window. Yeah, yeah. That's what I request. That's not what yeah. you're paying for. You're not paying or for like. Or if they're going to do that, they should have a bigger window. Right. They say in this time. Did you I, complain to them? I, I did not give a five-star review. Mm. Uh, I remember one time I, uh, I my phone was on silent and I didn't realize it. And the guy had been like waiting down there for like 10 minutes. And I was like, oh, that sucks. But I'm sure he's used to it. That happens a lot. And I went downstairs and I looked at him and he had a tear tattoo. And then I like changed the meal. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, <laughs> sir. Please oh, let he, me wait, take me those tear from on you. His face? Like, yes, like a tear tattoo, just like right there. Oh. I immediately made my cry ink, and Brandon. I was like <laughs> a thousand percent tip, maximum tip, maximum tip. <laughs> the guy went and bought an Apple watch, <laughs> yeah. the $10,000 watch with, uh, with the tip. Do you ever use Uber? Yeah. There should be a rule with the goddamn drivers of Uber. If you've only got a two-seater car, don't be an Uber driver. I don't want to sit next to you in your car. <laughs> I want to sit, in the, I I wanna wanna sit in the back. Time. I like. I actually like sitting in the front. I feel kind of like... <laughs> it's just so weird. He's like right there. I'm like... It's, it's, well, but he's a, it's he can like, see what I'm doing on my phone and stuff. Yeah, but he's, he's driving. He's not like... He's just, hey, a, he's just a dude, you know. Or, or a dudette. One dudette, time I, yeah. One time I had a ride and uh, my driver had a buddy. And they were just in the front <laughs> seat. I had that with a cowboy. just kind of like <laughs> talking and... That's well, they're shooting the shit, and yeah. I just felt like all of a sudden I'm, you know, the, the third yeah, wheel like in that. the back like seat. And like, that's way worse. the conversation. Yeah. yeah. But even then, it's like, I didn't sign up. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to get in, like, the middle seat and then just, like, <laughs> put my head up. Hey, guys. Yeah, that's weird. I had yeah. that with it, <clears throat> with a cab. The guy who was driving was really annoyed. And he was like going through a divorce, and the other guy was like trying to calm him down. He <laughs> was like, I just, I, she just makes she's a nightmare. <laughs> and I was like, I wish I was in a different cab, to be honest. Uh, Don't like this one. Because uh, what's the lowest you'll rate somebody on? Do you feel I, I feel bad if I'd rate somebody poorly, but you have to rate somebody at a certain level if you don't want to get them again. Like if you have a bad experience, right? Um, I, I, like I used to be, I used to be, I think overly generous. Like I would, I wouldn't care. I would just give people maximum ratings. Lately, I feel like I'm becoming not generous enough. Like I'm giving low ratings a lot more. Like mm. I'm getting really picky <laughs> to make you feel good. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You're eventually just, just going to have like four Lyft drivers that are eligible to drive you I've around. just been in a bad mood because of all like all the Cause your emails. We're really busy with uh, South by Southwest and we just finished up PAX East. And let's what are we live. doing for South by Southwest? We have um, I don't think we've announced everything yet so I don't want to say it yet but we, we definitely have space at South by Southwest Gaming at the Palmer Center. Uh, which we normally do. Uh, normally we sell merch there, but we're not selling merch this year. We're just going to have like meet and greets and some video uh, game streaming from there. Fair play. And uh, we're going to have some other things as well that I don't think we've announced yet. So that's going on. So that's why I, I have questions that need to be answered and they're not getting answered. So that's why I'm a little on edge. That's why I'm giving three stars to Instacart instead of five. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing I also notice about Uber drivers is Uber drivers love talking about Uber. You yeah. get in a car? I've never had that. You've never had that? No. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever not talked about Uber to a fucking, to a wonderful Uber driver. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, Uber's great. I used to drive a cab. This is so much better. Don't you think Uber's great? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Oh, they I really they get you know, tired of that. Like, how many people they pick up? And it's like, well, what are we going to talk about? Uber. You don't have to talk. Yeah. You just just not assume they should well, talk. You like do when if you get sitting right next to them. Do you guys talk <laughs> yeah. to your person cutting your hair? I try not to. No, just sit there. I do. Oh my, I do. Oh my god. Here's the you thing. Get on your phone while you're. Yeah. I that's got, just I, rude. That's, that's how's that, that rude? That feels rude. That does feel rude. I'm a I'm 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 a very generous tipper. <laughs> I tip a lot because I appreciate the work. Do you end up? I mean, I it's like know. I I but I mean I just in terms of just conversation. Do you ever have? Do you, do you have the thing where they like get mad at you and they're like, no, really aggressively turn your head? You know how? Maybe that? they don't want to talk to me. Maybe they get tired of talking to everybody and I'm having sure to be nice over and over. They're and like over. they don't want to talk about cutting hair all the time like yeah. the Uber driver. Uh, so I got I got my hair cut again. It looks good. It was the, I I when I went I went to like it's like a it's like a barber shop with a whole bunch of barbers and I sat down I was like God oh, this barber looks really familiar I don't know why just cutting my hair then like towards the end of the haircut she went after the eyebrows again I was like I she remember went- her now <laughs> <laughs> oh. it's the eyebrow one did you let her do it again I for- yeah of course because by the time I knew it she was I was like fuck she, wait wait so she- I can imagine your face being like hmm hmm wait so what how much did she trim uh like up here I can feel it. So and then she, she also she, like trimmed in the she middle. She didn't ask you. She just no. went for with it. scissors again. Yeah, I'd be livid that scissors were that close <laughs> to my eyes. Yeah, she was like, oh. Was like, oh when fuck. I was in when I was in high school, I once had a barber. I had a big pimple on my ear, or, or like on my no, like um, right around here, and then it popped. <laughs> oh, <laughs> when I was getting a haircut, and then it started bleeding, and she thought she'd cut me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, she was like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I didn't want to be like, no, it's cool, it's just a pimple. Oh. So I was like, that's all right, it it's, didn't hurt. I, like, I, I, didn't, I didn't know how to respond. I would be like, yeah, it's just a, don't worry about it. So I was just kind of like, I was you, once- know, you know, after a few minutes, she of looking at it, she's like, this asshole, that's a pimple. <laughs> like, that's not a cut. I was once getting my hair cut, and all of a sudden I felt a big splash of liquid, and it was just blood running all down my face and my neck, and she cut. Like the fleshy part of her hand. Oh, she like cut just, her own yeah, hand. Yeah, like while she was moving my hair, she just snipped into her oh. flesh, and it was so deep. And it was just like, she was like, rather... she was like, oh, oh, and then she started like passing out because she wasn't going to blood. <laughs> and I was like, someone else, <laughs> <laughs> medic. I would. So it... I like you. You, you, you reply, someone else. <laughs> Not like she needs help. It's like someone else. Like, I, 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 I get my no, I wasn't trying to get another bar, bro. <laughs> I didn't know. My hair still looks like Hitler. <laughs> My hair looks worse now. It's only half cut. <laughs> I, I don't it. like other people's blood being like that's. Oh like, yeah, it was. Uh, I don't think anyday. anybody likes other yeah. people's blood. It was on, on my mouth. face. Yeah, it didn't go yeah. in my mouth. I'm sure it doesn't even matter, does it? If blood goes in your mouth, yeah. Oh, sure it's, it's not a zombie matter. movie. She has like AIDS, but hepatitis. I even think you could eat blood. In the, I think it's just you can't. If you have AIDS, you could eat AIDS blood. Right? <laughs> yeah. Right. But it might make I'm the AIDS saying, stronger. Like, if you I, don't, I don't think it goes. I don't think Even if it, you had leukemia, it would make you feel yeah. a lot better. <laughs> You're saying it, if you eat AIDS blood, it won't give you AIDS. No, I, if I don't you think have you AIDS. drink it. Oh wait. Well, it's going into yeah. your bloodstream, isn't it? No, because it goes into your. It's not like what well, you. Hmm. <laughs> well, well no, surely, like I, by the time it, it gets to your intestines, know, it's going to be like your stuff digestive s- tract. It's like you can eat a lot of crap, and it doesn't necessarily go into your blood. But you're processing. Yeah, it, it. does. That's yeah. why you get drunk. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> Yeah. I thought no, you meant if you, you have AIDS, it, like drinking AIDS blood. So you well. think. So, do you. Mm. Going back a bit. <laughs> you know how we were talking about how you don't always want to talk to, like, you don't necessarily want to talk to a cab driver or a barber? Yeah. I'm like, I'm the same way. I, I'm not a talkative person, especially if I don't know someone. I don't want to talk to them. Um, does anybody ever watch that TV show, Nathan, for you? Um, it's a Comedy Central show, but it's, he, he comes up with dumb ideas for businesses, then helps a business implement his dumb idea to see how. It benefits or doesn't benefit people and he helped a cab company one time and he installed like an iPad system where people in the backseat of a cab could choose whether they wanted to have a conversation or not have a conversation and it would tell the driver and if they did want to have a conversation it had a list of topics that the driver knew about <laughs> that they could talk about so you could request specific topics for the driver to tell you that's, and that's so invariably creepy. everybody said no conversation really yeah, yeah. if there was a, a switch on the uber app for like chat or no chat I'm sure everyone would turn it off yeah how many people really want to be talked to? I heard you by a stranger. Yeah. Like, I, I don't just drive. <laughs> when I first went to New York, we got in a cab, but it didn't look like a cab. It was just some dude's car. And I started to get really scared and freaked out because I had no idea where we were going. And I was just trying to, like, calm down by talking to the guy. And I was asking about, like, you know, like the Yankees or this or that. And he would answer me. 
in like one or two sentences and then he immediately changed the subject back to Michael Jackson because like this is when all the molestation stuff was going on he's like yeah did you hear Michael Jackson and those kids man what he's doing to them and I was like all right I thought we I thought we moved on from this topic like five minutes ago and it's just like the mo longer it went on the creepier it went like where we yeah. were going and it was he would just, just like, always take it to kids yeah always always just Michael Jackson and kids like he would have he would have none of what I wanted to talk about I got a new neighbor uh I found out because I got a letter in the mail from your oh. neighbor. Oh, yeah. Wait, did he hear you banging? No, no, no. I got a letter in the mail saying that it's like a sex predator. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <in my area. laughs> a sex <laughs> predator. Did he have to introduce himself to you? No, no, he didn't come up. And I just got a letter that said, "I." It's like uh, so and so has moved into your neighborhood. This person <laughs> is is a, and it said high risk. Oh, whoa. Well. Yeah, but I looked it up. I don't think I'm at risk. I'm too, too old. old. How oh, oh, <laughs> is type? Is he is he like your next door neighbor? I have no idea. No, what are no. you gonna do if he like it's not in my, it's not to borrow? In my, it's not in my complex. You do look kind of young, Chris. <laughs> yeah, but not that young. <laughs> um, no, but it's not in my. It's somewhere, I guess, in you know the the. I don't know what the perimeter is, but you know, it's not in my complex. It's not my exact address. What would you do if he knocked on your door and he asked to borrow like? Flower. Is that what, well, what about your digital camera? <laughs> 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 you have a digital camera that they can borrow? Does it record movies? <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't. If I recognize him, I may be weird because they're sending it with a picture. What did they say? What he did? No, but I looked it up. What did he do? He was, uh, you know, showed himself to some some uh, underage Aww. kids. Come yeah. off it. Yeah. That there's, there's too many of them, right? That, like, doesn't it just oh, blow right. your mind how many kitty diddlers there are? Yeah. Well, like, it shouldn't be that many. He didn't, yeah. to be fair, he didn't do any of that. He just sh showed them. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why I'm, de I'm not defending him. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's still, still, still creepy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really I don't creepy. even have kids. Chris, it's, you, sh it's... you should find out where he actually lives. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't think I need to be worried or anything. <laughs> you, know, you, you lock your door, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so, would that devalue a neighborhood? I don't know. Oh, like, with, enough, with a house price, like a family home, no one's going to want to move in with like a two year old. I guess so. No, yeah. It makes, I mean, I imagine if there's like an area that's really receptive to sex predators, then it would devalue everything. They should just have their own village. Yeah. <laughs> like a leper. I'm pretty sure they're scattered. <laughs> no matter where you are, there's one nearby. It's, it's yeah. like it's there's like a, I mean, that's the thing with is, rats. It's like yeah. <laughs> there's always twenty rats within like ten yards of you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm. There's a lot of people who get arrested for crap, you know. Yeah, but yeah. it's one thing to be arrested; it's another thing to be like, convicted and actually yeah. have gone to prison. What is the stat on it? Like they say, the stat is one in ten people, people? are gay. What is the stat on how many sex? Well, yeah. Hmm. Like they could probably figure that out. Well, how many neighbors do you have? <laughs> yeah, let, let's just go through the. the well, I don't know. I, see, I don't know what the perimeter is. I don't know how far, how big, or wide, or you know. I imagine it's probably in a couple mile radius. You know. How do they determine yeah, what the perimeter is? Like, I, I, oh, after I, two miles, don't worry about this guy. I've never received. Has anybody? Have you ever? Has anybody? Else I've ever never received got a, one either. I don't think I've effect? checked my mail that... in six months. <laughs> what? Yeah. What, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm checking. You're it. gonna go to jail. No, I'll be okay. What if there's like a bill or like a. Tax all the thing. What about jury duty? Oh shit. <laughs> well, like all my mail goes to a place that I never live at. Is it is it against the law to not read mail? Well, is it's it? against the law not to go to jury duty if you're summoned. But but you can't use I didn't I didn't read my mail as an excuse. I don't know. <laughs> we need to get a lawyer out here. Well, That'd be great. Anything, anything important they would send certified, and that they what would that know. Mean? Yeah. Like that's like a a receipt. Like you have to, you have sign, to sign to get it. That uh, way they can prove that you received it. My problem is, like, I technically, I, you know, I have a room in, in some dude's house. Go on. And not Chris's but, neighbor. Uh, <laughs> but I'm never there. I always he, stay, you know, with my... He pretty much lives with his girlfriend. Yeah. And so it's like, you know, I'm on my way home. It's like, oh, do I want to stop by this other house just to get mail? I don't know. And you do that day after day for, like, six months. You know, it happens. This other house. Yeah. It's right down the road. He, he got a, he got go. a place... I just pay office. a dude. Yeah. He pays I, the dude to store his couch. Yeah. And his fucking cat ripped up my couch. Uh, he didn't even do that. Huh? No. <laughs> do, you, do you get any of that money back? Is there like a cat deposit? Oh, I don't know. I just, at the end of the, every month, I'm just like, I'm giving So what are you paying for then? You're money. paying a dude to store your couch and the couch is fucked up. 
Yeah. yeah. No, well, he's, he's I have paying like for like the, the part ability of to have his own space. You know, that he yeah, doesn't and go it's to. a very so small can, bedroom. But if 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 you know whatever happens, he can always say, "I can go." He always he can go home to his own his other house. So you have two places. Yeah. Why? Because like I don't you know I'm not moving, moving I've been moved in with some you know moving in with someone is a big commitment. Yeah. And it's like well we just, haven't. Ta- why don't you just move on your own? What do you mean closer? Moving? Why would I move? No, my whole point is like I stay at my girlfriend's place all the time. Oh, I see. So what that's saying. what I'm saying. So that's why. But I. You know, I don't want to. You don't want to move in because then it's like something happens. Like, oh, I gotta, I gotta move all this stuff now. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I got, I got this couch that the cat scratched up. I'm yeah. that couch. It's like, a, it's a lot of work. I guess, like, I guess we'll just stay together. I guess we'll just get married because I don't if I just get this fucking couch out of here. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't have to look for another place to live. So yeah. you won't live with a girl because I, you can't be bothered with the the fallout from a possible breakup. It's not be buying. That's just a big thing. You well, you don't admit. It. Mm. Do you think she'd be happy to hear that? Uh, she you have doesn't a listen plan? to the podcast. All right. <laughs> I <laughs> hope not. It's like the only reason you uh, you keep this other place is just mm, in case. I know. I've, I've always, no, I, but I think that everybody does that. That's why you keep the other place. Yeah, that's why I've got another place. Often, I, I, I live besides <laughs> with my wife. You know, whatever. How often do you say that? Uh, never really. Unless her parents <laughs> are in town and her parents stay with her, then I have to like move all of my shit out of the apartment anyway. Why? Is and pretend secret? like I don't live there. Is it a secret? Oh, it's a secret. It's secret love. Well, now it's on the internet. Well, no. We, oh, yeah, but her dad's not on Twitter. We already, yeah, we've already heard stories of uh, the dog yeah. and its strange taste. Did yeah. your dog live? Do you tell, hey, oh, you yeah, tell a story fine. about whenever you suggested a movie to watch with her family? I think so. No, I don't think you told that on the podcast. Oh, man, so I've only met her dad like twice, and uh, we went to. Her... I met her dad. He's like, a, he's, he's like that giant. guy that's like, he's an intimidating. Like, I'm a businessman. I'm, I'm a. Uh, alpha male, six like, foot. Yeah, he's like six foot four, very strong. You know, it's very in, you know intimidating, physically intimidating guy, and very proper. And, so, and he knows that you're like banging his daughter. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm also like, I'm not like a man's man. Like I'm the perfect boyfriend for like the third daughter because you're kind of like, <laughs> you're like, we'll let that one, we'll let that one go. But she's the only daughter. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm already a disappointment, and so I go to their house, and I'm staying in their house, and it's like movie night, and I was like thinking like, what's a great movie that they would like? And I was like, oh, how cool, like Cabin in the Woods. I remember that was like really clever and really cool. So, we start to watch Cabin in the Woods, and it's like me, her mom, her dad, and her like, you know, 11-year-old brother. And then the movie starts, and they start swearing a little bit, and I was like, oh, wow, they swore a lot more than I, I thought in this movie. And then they start taking off clothes and exposed breasts and like very, very like, I don't know, like some point someone's making out with like a boar. And then at one Wait. point, the dad just like puts his hands up in the air well, and who's he's like, I can't, I can't do this. That, or, that I can't movie, take this. And he's like, he, he just that, like storms out and like takes the brother with him. Because then a little I'm brother, just like right? sitting here like a completely. He basically was like. You've, you've, uh, uh, what is the word? Like, brought corrupted, ne- corrupted brought my shame house. to this house. And why'd you and suggest that movie? That yeah. movie is a hard R. <laughs> I don't, I, because I, those weren't the things that I remembered. I remembered, like, oh, it's really smart and clever. <laughs> Not there's, like, you know, people it's like, like it's like saying, What movies do you watch? I know a great porno <laughs> yeah. that you it's guys It's very know. clever. <laughs> yeah. Great twist. Great story. Yeah. Or, or it's like, what do y'all want to watch? How about Texas Chainsaw Massacre? It's set in Texas. <laughs> well, I talked to I talked to you about this though, and you were like, "Yeah, I had to think about it a little bit. That movie is a little bit worse." Yeah, but I still would wouldn't go for like a movie with like that hard R rating. So yeah, you, pit, you pissed him off real good. Yeah, pissed him off real good. And but the thing is, like, you understand what's happening, but it's a slow process because you don't just immediately be like, oh, "Okay, guys, sorry, this movie's bad." You're just sitting there and you're like, "Oh no." <laughs> what have I done? It's, and then you're nothing. slowly looking over at everyone else in the oh, room. And the dad's that's like, That's the most awkward. Yeah. Oh. And he's just like putting his hands through her hair and just like, We still have an hour child? and a half. How old was the child? He was like 12. This is how you end up on the sex bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you move, that's why you don't want to move. You don't have to mail up the cards again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, he doesn't like me. Didn't Sorry. you say he also asked you for a wine suggestion once? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is your friend, blood? <laughs> With AIDS in it? 
<laughs> so, uh, well, I don't drink wine. Um, I drink liquor, which I think that's, you know, it's respectable. You know, I just, I like liquor. That's cool. Yeah. Um, but we were at a, a restaurant, and he's like, can you recommend a wine? And I just, I, I didn't know. I just kind of like pick something randomly, and then they were like, "That's not wine." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> all right." That's the, so then, like, I picked, <laughs> I picked something else, and he wanted a red wine. That's why, because if I order a white wine, I order um, a Moscato. So what you? Wait, it's what, really good. So what did I you ordered pick? this. I ordered a Moscato for me. I have no idea what I ordered for him. Was it like vinegar? It or was something. something. It was like that is that's a taco. <laughs> yeah. So they brought out <laughs> shrimp my <cocktail>. wine. <laughs> And, uh, you know, they give him his wine glass, it's like regular wine glass, you know, everybody looks really respectable. They give me mine, and they classify it as a dessert wine, because it's very sweet. So they give me, like, the smallest, <laughs> cutest little wine glass, and I'm, like, holding it in my hand like I'm four, and then her dad is just sitting there with, like, a straight face, just kind of looking at Judging me. Judging you for your tiny I know, little... and I just want to apologize, dessert. like, I'm sorry, dude. She, How do you know? Sorry she these... likes me. You told me that the, the wine you had suggested for him was a Merlot. And I was like, haven't you that's, ever seen... That's why I found it, yeah. I was like, haven't you ever seen Sideways? That's, that's like... why. No, that's what it was. Because <laughs> I remember Gio... Sideways and Paul Giamatti's like, no, I'm not having a fucking Merlot, Merlot, Merlot. So when eventually they asked, I was like, I, I, I'm Merlot. I know there's a Merlot. <laughs> Let's do that. So what... Why I literally just, never why made one say, positive impression. Why didn't you just say, I don't really drink wine much? I, 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 why I, were you like, no, I got this, yes. <laughs> after this wine, we're going to go watch Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> it's going to be a great him... family movie. It's about a cabin. So, the, do you just do stuff because you scared? Like, what if he was like, hey, get, change the tire? Would you just be like, <laughs> uh, 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 and then you like crush the kid or something? I can change a tire. What makes you think I can't change a tire? Because you, because you don't know how to order a wine. Water? No, uh, no, I mean, like, I mean, I didn't know how to change the tire the first time I had to, you know, but you what? figured out. Like, I, I put the car up, like, I used the jack and lifted up the car, and I was like, okay, this looks like a good first step. So then I was like, <laughs> all right, we got to loosen the bolts on this tire. I've seen this, I've seen them do this. So I put the, the little, the big rod on little nuts, <laughs> and I'm like yanking it, and the whole car is just like shifting <laughs> on the jack front to back, and I'm like, you have to loosen this it jack is like, Did you jack really, it really, really, in the middle? like, really like weak and small and then I was like oh shit maybe I have to unscrew it before I lift up the car yeah so then I put the car back down undid it and then you know I figured it out what is your would you have a biggest fear with what he will ask you to do like I'm not scared like I'm not scared like I never get like necessarily nervous I just always feel like a disappointment and it's just like every day I'm just like what <laughs> this is this is a no win situation <laughs> It's not, well, and why are you guys looking at me like that? Like you feel sorry for me? Fuck you all. <laughs> I'm fine. I live my life. <laughs> I love your I love your stories about your interactions like that. It makes me so that grateful that I'm yeah. married and I don't have to deal with that shit anymore. And it's that, done. That your 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 in laws don't speak. Yeah, uh, do, do Estes parents very like well? you? Uh, yeah, they like me a lot, and they don't speak English very well. So even if <laughs> like someone told them to watch a video, have but you ever, they're not there, on the internet. There are some things though that <laughs> she won't good. let them watch, though, right? Yeah, she did not let them watch Frag Dude for oh, a long time. She yeah. eventually she relented and let them watch it. Have you ever very quickly insulted them to their face, hoping that they wouldn't? No, why it? would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Just roll off. <laughs> well, <what? laughs> Your definition of a laugh and mine are very different. Is it not funny to get away with something like that? No, <laughs> I'd be so nervous. Yeah. Why would I do that? There's no, no reason. You, to do you were that. always pretty good. Whenever we would go to conventions, oh right, I would give you, I would give Gus little phrases to slip in when he's talking to fans, uh, like about the pricing and stuff. And I'd be like, "All right, your next challenge, before one thirty, you've got to slip in sloppy vagina." And he would be <laughs> like, "Well, the shirts are, you know, one for twenty, two for thirty. This one over here." If you get with the the hats and sloppy vagina uh, posters, down. <laughs> and he would like slip them in so well, and people would be like. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. And they nobody. I don't think anyone ever questioned what you said. But you didn't put it in context. No, he would That's just like real put challenge. it in with other words so and fast. And the it was like yeah, they were like, overwhelmed yeah. with information, yeah. and then they would just be like, "Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll have one." Well, because they don't want to be the guy. It's like, did you just? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, well, well, but maybe well, I mean, I, I've, I've had something similar where I, I've been on the other. What I thought was the other side of that, where the first time we went down to New Zealand, uh, we were working an event there, and um, these these two attendees came up to us and they're like. Oh, if you if you like Thai food, there's a there's a or there's if you like Asian food, there's a great like Thai place down the road. It's called Monsoon Poon. I was like, <laughs> I was like, does Poon mean the same thing in New Zealand that it does in America? And they were like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> like 
Poon? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yeah. And I was like, and that's the name of the restaurant. And they're like, yeah. And I was like, okay. I don't believe. I was like, I don't believe those guys. I looked it up. It's like, yep, monsoon. Monsoon Poon, Poon is a real. And place. you went. How do you spell Poon? Great. P o o n. Did you go? So, yeah. See, it's it awesome. works. So Love it's like wet pussy, the Thai place. Yeah. <laughs> do you think people were more likely to buy a shirt? If they like, they didn't realize you said sloppy, sloppy vagina, but it just like subconsciously registered in their mind, and they're kind of like, oh yeah, I like sloppy vagina. I'll buy the shirt. <laughs> but, like no. subconsciously. No, I don't oh, know. It is, but there is. Yeah, that's <laughs> love you long time. <laughs> <laughs> There's two locations: one in Auckland and one in Wellington. Uh, the one I went to was in Wellington, but I've been to both now. But they're gonna get a lot of business. They have, uh, they have a really a lot of business for <laughs> all of our uh, listeners in Auckland and uh, Wellington right now. They have uh, this one really spicy dish. It's really good. It's called firecracker chicken. I should be charging them for this. Sponsored by. Got to get Alan to give him a phone call. <laughs> uh, it's a great place. Love eating there. Uh, Australia really is good. awesome. I miss Australia. Well, we're talking about New Zealand, but. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's an Australian over there. You just pissed him hey, off. Hey, hey, hey! Tell me. <laughs> Uh, Brandon, tell the story about uh, your birthday. Uh, well, you were more yeah, yeah. a part of it than okay. I was, yeah. Chris. <laughs> oh, all right, well, I'll tell the story. I had a birth. Uh, okay, I'll start it off. I had a birthday. Yeah. So Brandon had a birthday, and so I was talking to his girlfriend Paula about like they were going to go out, and then there were going to be you know a group of people who were going to like surprise him at a bar, and be like, hey, you know, like because she was like, oh, we'll just have a quiet thing, just the two of us. So we like organized this whole thing where it's like we were, te you know, texting back and forth, being like, all right, we're here. All right, well, we'll probably get here at, you know, 930. So everyone be there by 930. And so yeah, and they both waiting. know that I, yeah, I yeah. don't I don't like doing stuff for my birthday. Like I never hang out with people. I feel weird. Like I feel it's almost like if I ask somebody to hang out with my birthday, they're only going to do it because they feel obligated. Right. We're not going to do that. So it's, it's weird. Like every. <laughs> OK. So, yeah. So so like she was like, OK, we're on our way. We'll be there in like 15 minutes. And this, you know, at this point, there's like you know, a group of people waiting to, like, surprise kind of thing, right? Yeah, and so um, we get there uh, at this, uh, the place that Chris was having. And it was, it. here's the deal, is she picked a bar that you suggested independently. Yeah, she was like, where do you want to go? I was like, oh, let's go to this place, Halcyon. And, like, Which she, we were already at. Yeah, so it was really perfect. Because she picked a bar that he knew that he, that she knew that he liked. Which yeah, was, he knew that. She, she knew his that girlfriend he liked. knew that he liked this bar, and that's where she told us to meet. And then he independently suggested going to it. Yeah, so okay. it wasn't one of those situations where someone's throwing a surprise party for you. They're like, "Oh no, 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 we got to go here. We got to go this time." I was like, "Naturally, I wanted to go to that place." How handy! So yeah, exactly. We walk there, and then we're about to walk in, and she stops me, and I'm like, "What?" She's like, "Look, I have to tell you something." I'm like, "What?" All your friends are inside. Oh, she ruined it. <laughs> and then like. <laughs> I wasn't, it wasn't like a me thing, oh, wow, that's crazy. I was like kind of, not in shock, but like really confused. Like, who are you talking about? Why are they here? Friends. And, and then like, <laughs> there's You're no. Like, wait, who, who could it be? <laughs> there's no, there's no, I was, why, I was, there's no follow up. Like, we just kept walking in and then all of a sudden like. It's like, surprise. And Brandon goes. I said like the most like, like awkward, just uncomfortable. Yeah, like I just smelled like the most like massive like. Dump or something what? like it was just like oh. it was a really it was really like uh, Unsatisfactory surprise. Why did she ruin it? I don't know. She got scared She, she, got, she got mad that I would like I would storm <laughs> out and like like be super pissed and like move back to my little House or whatever <laughs> your shitty couch. So it was just like the Are most that awkward unstable? surprise party in the world Well, I think because like last year I didn't tell her it was my birthday So she didn't know uh, until the day, and I was like, oh, I should probably tell you before you get mad at me that today's my, <laughs> today's my birthday. Before you get mad. <laughs> and then she got really mad at me, and then I was like, how can you, you can't get mad, you're not a, it's my birthday. <laughs> like, you can't get mad at me because <laughs> it's got you my anger. birthday. And so she had to, like, run out and, like, you know, throw together something, and she felt bad about it, so. So, so this time she threw something together but warned you. Yeah, yeah. So maybe a third time. But I, I don't know. It's, it's like she could have just like told you from the beginning. I don't. I don't. If I was there hiding, waiting. Well, not hiding. Well, he's like ready to be all like excited. Well, here's the deal. It's like I, I was like, we we're sitting there, and I saw through the window. I was like, I think I just saw Brandon walk by, and I was like, oh, so I was like, he's here. <laughs> but then they did, like they didn't show up for like five minutes or so, or not five minutes, but like longer than it takes to walk from here to here. So I was just like, did 
did I not see them? And then they walk out, and then Brandon has this like fart smell look on his face, and I was like, "What the?" Hell? No, and like the worst part of it isn't isn't all that. It's immediately after when you're like, "Well, it's time for me to sit down and start socializing," because there wasn't like this big, "Oh, hey, welcome, let's sit down." It's all like, "All right, well, everybody, keep talking amongst yourselves." <laughs> um, so, so you made it weird here. as well. You both just made it really weird. I had no, I had no control. It was out of well, my I control. Mean, it was made weird for me. If if I was you like, oh, all your friends are in there, I'd be like, oh, that's nice. Hey, how's it going, Bevs? You know? I didn't understand the situation because it was yeah, a weird it, thing to do. Yeah, yeah. In general. To be it was fair, it was, like, it was like a, it was like a warning, like your, all your friends are in there to confront you about your addiction to, you <laughs> know, <Misery. intervention>. to <laughs> cocaine. It's like, it's like a weird, like just letting you know this is about to be an intervention, but it's a birthday party, a surprise cocaine party. Yeah. <laughs> um. I, yeah. I got. I don't know. Someone emailed me. Someone invited me to go there like that day. Oh, and, and, you, and I, I saw it and I was said, like, well, that's like in four hours. Like, I'm not going to go to that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> I'm surprised you, you didn't have it. to tell him. I didn't know that. <laughs> you didn't have to. Like, why would I go? Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I, hate, I hate birthdays, too. I'm not. Yeah, about, it's yeah. weird. It's a weird, a weird thing yeah. where it's like all of us, especially like, you know, you're on the Facebook. And all of a sudden, <laughs> it's your birthday, and there's like a thousand people you've never talked to. Yeah. And it's just, I don't know, it's weird. It's, it makes me uncomfortable. You know what I'm going to do this year? I'm going to change the date of my birthday to a different day on my birthday, so I get no messages, and then switch it back afterwards. Yeah. You yeah. should just always keep moving it into the future so that it never yeah. actually happens. Well, that's the best thing to do if somebody leaves their Facebook open on your computer. And you're like, well, this is not going to go well for this person. You, you don't change their name, like, you know, make something stupid. You just change their birthday. Hmm. To like two days from then, because like they're not going to notice, and all of a sudden everybody's going to write on their wall "Happy Birthday." But oh. then when it's like their actual birthday comes up, they're nothing. not going to get you know it's not going to be the same. Gonna, or you should change well, the, like they you shot really their really diabolical. You change their birthday to a day after the actual day, so that they don't get any notice. Their birthday comes and goes, <laughs> and nobody wishes them a happy birthday, and they get really sad, and then oh. it happens a day later. That's what you do to fuck with them. Or you oh. should change their age to twelve and see if they get any. <laughs> Action for some predators nearby. Yeah. <laughs> I know a guy. <laughs> set, set the radius. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I I, yeah. You were so happy. I when Chris got that letter, he was. You're always I running, wasn't... but you were running through the parking lot to show me. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, look what I got, Gus, and you're like waving it in your hand. So is it? Just I a... gotta go up and check. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go look this up. <laughs> is it just a generic letter then, or is it like a personal message it. from him? Do you want to see it? Yeah. Like, did he write on it? Like, did he put? No, no, no. It's it like a. Yeah. Uh, oh, you got it on you? Yeah. Yeah, we'll put out. Why? <laughs> uh, because you I was going to show. I want to show people. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you have to block out your address or anything on there? Yeah, just, just don't. Well, like, I don't, don't know if we want to show the person. Oh, that's oh, oh that's his yeah. <laughs> I don't need a letter to tell me that. He's got diddler written all over. <laughs> yeah. This guy never had a chance, man. Oh, he has green eyes. <laughs> No, I saw it already. Yeah, it's just like a little postcard thing that they print up and mail. It looks like it looks like junk mail, like uh, yeah, like yeah. oh, like a magazine. Yeah, it's like oh, this, is this a coupon for uh, a, rest, a new restaurant or a sex predator? I don't know. <laughs> uh, they put people like that on milk, right? Yeah, like a milk. No, no, they, look for <laughs> they, that's, they put the children on the milk. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> the opposite. Well, isn't that like? Why do they do that, by the way? Like, why is that a thing? I guess because everyone like, uses milk. I don't. Like, like, but why is that the go-to? Why is it like the milk industry has to give up like one of the sides of their packaging? Yeah, I don't and know. not like broccoli. Yeah. That's something. That's, right. that's something that's exclusive to here. Really? I've never seen a picture of anyone. Well, I don't. Th I don't. I've never seen. I think it's like a thing on TV. More. I don't think they still do it. Uh, Might have been an old time thing. Yeah. Well, we all. Everyone else turn off the Amber Alerts on your phone. I had to finally recently. Yeah. The, the noise is just so scary. It's like. Yeah. It's really jarring at three a.m. Yeah. yeah. That's the worst. I feel like. When you get them at 3 a.m., it's like flash flood warning. Like, or it's like, like those are those are helpful. You're right, but I don't live anywhere near. Yeah. I'm upstairs. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm upstairs, and I'm not anywhere near a creek or a body of water. Like it doesn't. I'm not going anywhere. You it don't live matter. next to yeah. a levee. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm totally fine. Or like lost old person. <laughs> I don't even know how. <laughs> have you seen the signs for lost old people? Yeah, yeah. Like they've wandered off. Or something. Yeah. Happens a lot. That's that's sad. It's it is sad. I I feel like you want to help, but then. You always run the risk of just, you know, 
See me like an asking, asshole going yeah, up asking to an like old a normal saying, old guy. Are you, lost? Are you okay? It's like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just yeah. old. Like, do you think all the perfectly sane old people who <laughs> regularly walk see the sign for lost elderly and they're like, Christ? Or yeah. they get asked especially asked seventeen or, or, questions. Or if they're wearing if like you're the old, same wardrobe. <laughs> like, oh shit, orange shirt. <laughs> no. Do you think at any point some old person's like, wait, am I that lost? Could I be lost? And I not <laughs> do even I realize it. My family. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's scary. Oh, yeah, you freaked is. me out, Chris. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of got into my own head. <laughs> that would, that would, that would how, how mean would it be to put out a lost... Like, if I put up ads for, like, lost Gus, <laughs> please keep a lookout, and everyone was, like, trying to find you all of a sudden. I'm right here. Could I do that? I think... I feel like you would get in trouble for that, wouldn't you? Yeah, that that's fraud? like taking advantage of... Uh, but really, I'm just advertising, That's right? like calling in a false fire or something. Or is it a robbery? Oh, no, I don't know. I feel. Uh, what's the point of calling in a false fire? Or I mean, like you get there, you're like, the oh, it's, it's just like prank calling the fire. police, essentially, right? Right. Yeah. I guess oh, okay. maybe if you don't alert the police or the authorities, maybe you'd be okay. Like you're saying, like if it's just like an advertisement. Yeah. Yeah. But then, what do you advertise? Have you seen this, Gus? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where would you put it? On billboards. Oh shit! You know, <laughs> that's that's a big commitment. You know, Gus. One time we were driving back from Buda, and then there was a. A billboard addressed to Gus from Bernie. Oh, right. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Except it was spelled B E R N E N I E, but like, I, I, it was so hard for me to believe that that wasn't actually Bernie. Like, yeah, he it, it was related to the, uh, the F1. But, what did it say? Uh, uh, it was like, uh, congratulations or something. Oh. Uh, billboards aren't expensive. No, they're, I, I, we've looked into it for RTX. Uh, advertisements in the past. They're, yeah, they're, they're like really su cheap. surprisingly cheap. Billboards and local television also. Oh yeah, local TV. Why don't we do more billboards cheap. then? I don't know. We should do. We should totally do like local Let's TV ads and that. just air them in Let's the. Let's take Austin down area. the goddamn attorney that rocks and put rooster teeth. <laughs> I think his is gone. <laughs> oh, I keep seeing him. Do you? His he has a lot of. Bill I know who you're talking about. It's like why would I, why would you want not want an attorney with dreads? Yeah, <laughs> I'll call you. <laughs> you'll be great. Or the it, DWI dude. Does anybody remember the old uh, Betty Blackwell commercials? Oh yeah, oh, I'm Betty Blackwell. You do know Betty Blackwell? That was so jarring because like that it, that's like a local Austin ad that ran for years. I mean, that no joke, that commercial probably ran for like 20 years uh without any updating. They finally I think about 5 years ago they had to update it and it was weird seeing the old commercial to now because all of a sudden she aged 20 years from one commercial to the next. <laughs> it's like uh, the Queen when they redo all the coins. Yeah, Jesus. I just like that. Like, oh so my god, is the old it... Betty Blackwell commercial. <laughs> Tell you what, it works. You never remember her name. Yeah, and she's at the she's at the very end of the. Commercial. Is this the old bitty? This is this is the old. So version. this is the old one. Well, yeah, this is the old one. There's this awful local she... ad for a. And then, oh. like the new version is. Is that her? Yeah, but the new version is this plus like twenty years. Oh, let's say she looks good for. Let's do a comparison. I want to see the new one. Yeah, oh. you can get like a commercial though on TV station for like a hundred bucks. We should make the worst commercials. Just like there's really... no way we could actually make the worst. Like they're so bad. Gus, you remember the uh, tattoo? The local tattoo shop uh, commercial. Which one? They used the, the, this, this oh, with the, the dogs. Same? Yeah, they had the two dogs. They used like songs from like the Apple Music Library, and then they had these two still photos of a dog, and they used the anim the mouth like animation software that we used for Vic. Yeah, from like you know the first few seasons of RVB and Stu Stuman, and they aired like it just aired nonstop. Yeah, I do remember. Do you remember that. what? Where I remember it was from. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh geez. Is she in the same room? That's impressive. Yeah, but it's just so weird to see, you know, because they yeah. literally went from one to the other. Like, I felt like, I just saw the other one yesterday. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, it was just weird seeing her, seeing her age that quickly. Um, the worst, the worst is that fucking Toyota dealership up north. The guy who does, like, the Austin Powers impression. Oh. Yeah, no, no, that, that, that one is bad, too. I'm, I'm intentionally not saying their names. See, I, I thankfully, I don't have them. TV, so I never see... I don't think I've ever seen a commercial. The one, she's, the one Mariel's talking about, they also do, like, radio ads and everything. That one's mm. fucking terrible. What else did Apple announce? Um, they announced a updated versions of the MacBook Air. Um, updated version, I think, of the 13-inch MacBook Pro. It's gold, and, right? Well, and a new line called... Have a gold one? MacBook. It's between... Well, it's, it's the ones they took away. Well, it's it's a 12-inch laptop that's smaller than the MacBook Air. Uh, it's, what? Because they used to have a MacBook, and yeah. they discontinued it. Yeah. This one's thinner than the 11-inch MacBook Air. It weighs only two pounds, and it comes in gold, silver, and gray. But so why, MacBook wait, Air so isn't the thinnest one. 
Correct. Why what? isn't that just the MacBook Air? Like, in the MacBook Air, the fact that it's supposed to be the lightest, smallest. I don't. I'm, I'm just as confused as you. It's... Also, it only has one port on it. They should have called it the MacBook Helium. What do you mean, like one USB? No, like... like one port. Well, yeah, it's it's called USB C, and that's where you plug it in to charge it. But that's also like if you want to use a USB, you have to plug in like a USB hub into there. Oh, so annoying. you can't charge it and use you a can. hard drive. You can. You have to just have like an adapter that passes the current through and also passes the data through. So because uh, you read the uh, Steve Jobs, it seems like they could have like maybe had a chart like well, well maybe we can't charge it like what? what? <laughs> I, yeah, if you want to do, do you think anything, that's the argument they had after. <laughs> yeah, but you got Tim Cook was just like, uh, 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 <laughs> it's just like one adapter you plug in, and it's got like all your breakout. Yeah, but I'm gonna lose that adapter. Right, you're gonna. We lose all know. It. Yeah, adapter. the yeah. good thing about that though is that it's it's future proofed. They can you can put newer oh. newer adapters on it, and you're not limited by the true the seven year old hardware that's on your laptop in seven years. Yeah, it's well, but that's assuming that the input for it is fast enough that it can, you know. It's faster than whatever's going to come from the future, right? Mm. I guess from you, the future. Yeah, yeah. You listened to the uh, the audio version of uh, the Steve Jobs documentary, right? Yeah. Or his bi- sorry biography. Yeah. One of the things he did to fix Apple was he came in and he he's like, "You guys have too many goddamn computer lines that do the same thing." He's like, "We're going to have two different laptops, consumer, pro, two different like you know uh, desktops." And so he's you know vanishes. He goes away, and then like they immediately start immediately making died. it. Yeah. They immediately just start like let's <laughs> let's add like, this weird go? middle ground that we can kind of have people differentiate between. Uh, it's just weird. It's just like it, it just it, seems it, like they're complicating it. I feel like it's 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 almost complicated for us, but I can't imagine being like a seventy year old walking yeah. into an Apple store and being like, I don't know what I want. Look yeah, at I all feel, these damn laptops. I feel bad. Like my uh, my stepfather was recently asking about like he likes my MacBook Air. He's like, I want to. Yeah, I saw him a couple weeks ago. He's like, I want to buy one of those. And I said, Well, they're probably gonna update them soon. Wait until they update them, and I'll, I'll let you know when they update them. So then today they announced a new MacBook Air, and they announced a new MacBook. I'm like, fuck, how am I going to explain this? It's like, okay, there's a new laptop that's smaller and lighter than the one I use, but it's more powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it just serves... <laughs> Wait, it's more powerful than a MacBook Air? Or well, more it, than well, well, it's got some other stuff. Like, it's got a retina display. So it does 2304 by 1440. Well, like, what's the different... What are the different markets? They're like, well, like, who, who are they targeting for each one? Rich. Think- Slightly less rich, but like it's, what? Who? Do, which one is which? There might be people who are like, which oh, I don't want a MacBook Air. I don't want like the you know the the lesser one. I'll only get a Pro, but the Pro is too expensive. So they're like, here's a laptop. We're not going to call it the Air, so you can kind of think that you're getting the middle one. You're getting like you know the average. You're not getting the lowest division, because otherwise there's no point. Like there's is the MacBook more expensive or is yeah, Mac- it's more expensive. It starts at twelve ninety nine. I love these conversations because we're going to be so dumb. In like a decade from now, listening to these, it's so, great. The, the, the weird thing about the new MacBook, the front-facing FaceTime cameras only 480. Really? Yeah, which mm. seems really shitty. Yeah, yeah. No. Like they your phone whole, is probably. They, they had a whole thing during the press conference about how they had to redesign and reinvent the keyboard. Oh Christ! Did Johnny Ive come out and <laughs> waffle <laughs> on for <laughs> seven God. minutes? They talked about his magic keyboard. Talk. They, talk, they, 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 they invented. They, so they're, they're masters. At All this. of a sudden, I was brilliant. <laughs> they invented a problem that no one in the world has ever complained about or had. <laughs> it's like they invented a problem and then they made a solution for it right away. You've never had this problem. Have you ever been unhappy with the way when you press a key that it goes like one side goes in and not the other side? What? No. No, now that you said that though, like I'm th- what probably do you notice what, it. What do you mean? What do you mean? What like you it mean? rocks in the right. in the bed. The new MacBook doesn't do that. They they invented a butterfly support for it so that uh, it uniformly. Presses Some of it's down. impressive. Like you got to admit, it's impressive when he when he comes out and says, "Oh, the new MacBook Air." Oh, see there on the left is oh, the old scissor yeah. mechanism, and on the right is the new butterfly mechanism. Because there was that time where they they redid some of the fans in in one of the MacBooks. Oh yeah, and it was like they just. Basically, just messed up a fan, so it wasn't even <laughs> anymore. Asymmetric, and like the frequency of noise gets e- like spread, and it's quieter. And it's just like, get a life. <laughs> also, the new MacBook, no fans. What? Ah. Yeah, it's got no fans. Does it keep it's it all solid that's, state? That's, no, 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 no that's nice. something that, like even like old Macs, they like the the failed. I think it was the Cube or something that. Oh, oh, the Mac. No, no, it was the, like before power. Yeah, it was like before PC uh, thingy. Uh, yeah, Jobs went back to Mac in like the '80s or whatever. He made the cube, and he didn't have any. And fans like, you could like pull oh, the next cube. The next cube, yeah. 
They like were no fans. It was like it was also I think one of the first computers to have uh, optical drive. Oh yeah, it, yeah. I remember I used those a few times. They were confusing as fuck. Yeah, because I was, I was what, like, a CD. No, the next computers. Uh, just because I was a dumb kid, I don't know anything. All I ever used was Windows three one at that point. Yeah, I was so fucking confused. What do you think is the most like a, a Windows? Like we all have PCs and stuff. We've all used them. But I've probably only used like 10% of what they can do. Like what is the least used function in Windows right now? Do the you think? least used function in Windows is the help system. Who goes through and reads help? I There's think, a help I think people would do that. Yeah, like you hit F1, that brings up help, right? Yeah. No. I don't know. I don't know. It's annoying. Yeah, I, I bring it up by accident sometimes. <laughs> like, Christ, fucking help. Or it's like, oh, the, the the network troubleshooter. Your computer can't connect to the internet. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Troubleshoot. That guy, it never works. It never, it never works. Yeah, it works. works. Diagnosing. Nope. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, let me try and connect to the internet. It didn't work. Sorry. Oh, it's like, wait, wait, wait. Let me see I if I would you're... love to know from Twitter. Has anyone ever pressed, like, diagnose, and it does the little thing, and it's just like, all done? You're good. <laughs> Has or, anyone or ever had just that? Even it, the bare minimum said, the problem is X. All it does is tell you if your <laughs> Ethernet cable is plugged in. No, it's, no, it's it's got no, it doesn't no, do anything. No. It doesn't do anything. And then, but then it'll ask you right after it fails to send a diagnostic diagnostic report. Because there's somebody there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so when you get back online, let us know about this. <laughs> right down. This, let us, this, let this, us know who helped you fix it. Write down this 32-digit error code <laughs> and submit it. Search it in Google later. Uh, here, I gotta read this. Um, I want to remind everyone this episode of the podcast is also brought to you by Squarespace. Uh, Squarespace recently launched their latest version of their platform, Squarespace 7, which has a completely redesigned interface, integrations with Google Apps, new templates, 24-7 support, responsive design, so your site looks great on any device, and every website comes with a free online store. Start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today when you decide to sign up at squarespace.com slash roosterteeth. Make sure to use offer code roosterteeth to get 10% off your first purchase and to, show, and to show your support for the Rooster Teeth podcast. Thanks to Squarespace for their support. Squarespace, start here, go anywhere. So, um, funny enough about making websites. Uh, I talked about how I used to use these Next Cubes when I was younger. So I would, um, it was this computer lab in a summer program I would go to. On one side were the Next Cubes, and this other side were a bunch of um, uh, Macs. And you would go over to the Macs, and that's like how I first started making my first website uh, was on Macs. Like you, it was, it, it wasn't Mac OS. I didn't realize it at the time. It looked just like Mac OS. But in the upper right, there was like an icon you could click that would open up like a Unix terminal. And it was like a combination of like Unix and Mac OS. So you could create your website in the Unix terminal and then like navigate to your files in Mac OS and like right click on them and be like, I want to share this with the world. And it was so, it was so fucking dumb. I, I, I think it was called AUX. Like, please, someone on Twitter send me hashtag RT podcast if that's true or not. So well, what was your website? Um, I made uh, a Blue Oyster Cult fan page. All right, <laughs> that, was, that was my that was my first website ever. <laughs> is, it, is it still up? Uh, no, it's 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 gone. But uh, Bernie and Jeff found it years later when I was working at the old call center. They made fun of you. They made fun of me incessantly. That's actually why I took over Bernie's Bernie.com website and wrote <laughs> Bernie sucks cock, uh, which later got turned into the animated adventure. Like the city of Bernie, Tasmania, asked him to take down. Uh, <laughs> what he had written about him on their on his website. Oh, <laughs> uh, what was the most surprising thing to you? Like based on like you know your involvement back then when you started getting involved in the web and, and operating systems to where we are now. Like, what's the thing that you never thought would happen? The, the fact that you can carry the internet in your pocket and it's super fast and you can stream like video and audio and everything just works on like a phone everywhere. You don't have to be wired or connected. That's still crazy to me. You're just flying around, and it's like, it literally, in your plane, and you just have it, the world mm -hmm. name. You have everything yeah. there. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, like, um, I mean, just, and how fast it is. I mean, when I, when I was a kid, I sound like a fucking old man now. When I was a kid, there was no internet. Uh, <laughs> then so I remember it was really how did you watch? How did you look at porn? So, <laughs> the first, that's a funny enough. <laughs> like, ask, Grandpa, what did you I've, uh, I, I, I've told this story in the podcast before, I think, but one time when I was like, how old was I? I was probably like 14. Uh, I was reading an issue of Newsweek, and uh, on Newsweek they had an article. In Newsweek they had an article about how there was this new thing called the World Wide Web, and people were putting porn on it. And they had like <laughs> a screenshot of like the Playboy website as part of the article. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> so I like walked over to my computer, and it was a text-based web browser. Like you couldn't see images, and I like typed in the address that I saw in Newsweek. 
I was like, <laughs> they advertised like, for it? Yeah, they was like, oh my god, yeah, this web page actually loaded. But I had to like use my arrows and like hit download, initiate like a modem transfer uh, if I wanted to download anything. It would take a minute to download 10 kilobytes. So if a JPEG was like 50 kilobytes, it would take five minutes to download. So it allows you, you to turn it off after the tits. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't look at it until oh. it was done downloading oh, entirely. So it didn't load like this? No, no, no. It was just like a modem transfer. Like, it didn't display on my screen. It was just like a data transfer, and then it saved it. And then I could look but at it. But so that's, one like, thing... so much faster than, like, old, di like, Western porn, right? Which was... Go like, cowboy well, porn. Well, didn't yeah. exist. Well, there no, they would, like... they'd have the little, like, you know... They had, like, a, a gyroscope thing and they'd, Yeah, they'd something. put, like, all the it? pictures, and then they'd, like, roll like, it like this. Yeah, a gyroscope. I don't know. It's, like... The ability to like go somewhere and then see <laughs> naked people is well. I mean, it like, must have been sketches first, right? Yeah, like yeah. cave. That's what like, they, that's already... what cave paintings were. Was like just porn. <laughs> I'm gonna go and like, walk people into the in jerk a... off cave. <laughs> <laughs> you you laugh, but I guarantee you there was a jerk off cave. Like... There was a cave, but it was like uh, Ben, don't go in there. <laughs> yeah, <little> <laughs> <kid>. <laughs> Listen, that's uh, stay yeah, clear of that go... cave. You'll slip. Only when you're a man. Yeah, <laughs> you get like, to go... <laughs> it's like do you, I don't know. I can go to this this porn cave. There's a better one on the <laughs> other side of the village. Well, what, what are you into? What kind of what kind of cave are you into, guys? guys just 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 don't walk in if I leave a if I leave a rock at the front yeah. of it. Just like, we got some wait. weird foot shit in that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a bunch of cats in this, uh... Cat cave? Yeah, is it, like, you know, Egyptians have cats everywhere. There's cats! <laughs> yeah, but what, what, what is the connection? If you were in a cats! Some people no are into, like, in animals cat. now. No. Yeah? Well, like, that's a whole thing! Are you talking about, you talking about shagging animals? <laughs> yeah, some people are into that! Cats? How did you take it to cats <laughs> from animals? <laughs> They're on a- that's an animal and there are a lot of cat paintings. The first animal you think is shagging is a cat. Uh, not me personally, but I'm <laughs> saying- It was literally no, your there's brain! there's a lot of cats. What's like, what's the most common animal that's drawn on a cave? A, a buffalo a or a bison. Okay. Well, it depends where you oh, are. Oh, come on, now you're It depends. <laughs> no one- <laughs> Read my mind, guys. <laughs> No, we get it, you know, if you're in Egypt, fucking, you're like... Fucking Egyptians weren't drawing on caves, they were building pyramids and drawing on pyramids. They had, they had jerk-off pyramids, <laughs> not <laughs> caves. It's, it's totally that's, different. That's like, fancier. you would go to the cat pyramid? <laughs> Those things are it's caves. Like, do, you want, do you want to jerk off with this picture of a human with a raven for a head? Because <laughs> <laughs> we have a cave full of, or a pyramid full of that? <laughs> yeah, I do that. Uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe we've had this conversation, I'm trying to think like... I don't think we've had the cat shagging conversation. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Like, in, there have been, like, movies where, uh, people get together and they watch, like, porn films, right? Yeah. And it's like a whole event. It's like, you gotta meet at a time, you gotta get a projector, you load the projector, put the screen on. Does that make it more special that there's so much, like, work that goes into it and, it's, and presentation? Well, I like, think it's, it's a more bigger of a event. specialty event. <laughs> right. Right. Then you feel guilty, you're like... I really want to watch. Want to watch like forty seconds or so, yeah. and then you're done. It's like you spend all this time setting up, you finish, and then you're like, "Oh, I'm not gonna put all the shit up." <laughs> or, or if you're the guy who's loading the camera, you just accidentally see the frame through the light, and you're just like, "Oh, that's all I needed." You <laughs> <laughs> didn't even put it in. Yeah, yeah you guys can, you yeah. guys can finish <laughs> the rest. Gus, when you were a kid, was there scrambled porn? Yeah, of course there was. Yeah, that doesn't exist anymore, does what? it? It did when I was a kid. Yeah, I think, I think it's it was like channel seventy-seven. I think oh, you're talking about the actual signal. It's yeah. where it's yeah. where it's like, it's a it's a channel that you don't get, but it's every, playing porn. Every so now like, and then, it would line up just right, and you could kind of see, sort of like. So it'd be like, <laughs> it'd be oh, like oh. you would see like, oh, is that a boob? I think it is, or After could it be just you know, fuzz? After nine p.m. though, they they turned off the music. That was all audio. That's, I don't know how they got it. I mean, I guess that's how they got people to sign up for the service, right? What, you just hear it? Yeah, and you're like, I can pay for this. Wait, so you, like, you had audio, but you couldn't... You yeah, had no, like, no audio. Oh, yeah. No, to me, it was just like, like, static, she and every out, once in a while, you see a figure of, like... Should have come out, hang out at my house. So you we could, had the you, setup. It was just audio for you, huh? Video and audio, but, like, full audio. Yeah, you flipped it on. Meow! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, animal Planet. <laughs> well, what would be the first animal that you think of, then? We gotta go back to this. What do you mean? Or if, if you have like what animal that somebody you're the one who brought it up. We don't have to answer. We no, don't but your issue was this. like what animal you, I chose. You, you what chose animal? An animal. You cho animal. No one knows animal. What's the right answer? What's the right answer? I mean, I already took it weird. I went with foot stuff. 
That's yeah. weird. And then no, you're that's, like, yeah, that's and not like cats, cats and you know, dogs or hamsters. Who knows? That's, you know, you're the one slightly different. cats and lubing up your dog's <laughs> mouth every time. I didn't lube up the dog's mouth. You absolutely did. You are changing the story. That's not what happened at all. It did it on its own accord. <laughs> the dog likes lube. I have no control did over that. Did you feel bad? Wait, wait. What? What is this? When did the dog get? Lube? I'll catch you up later. His dog ate some. Did he just sit at the foot of your bed like this? <laughs> no, it's just it like jumps up and it jumps on tables. Like the thing is, the 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 breed is so fat, and, it's, and like hungry. They eat everything. Like that's all they do is they just eat. So it it does this crazy acrobatic stuff when it can smell something that smells like food. So it like jumped and flipped and then yeah, it just ate a bunch of like a whole bottle of so lube. So your lube you smells like food? Well, strawberries. Yeah, or, you know, know. It's like, There's you flavors. never had flavored lube? Hmm? I guess not. <laughs> I'm just a vanilla kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, this that's is a vanilla flavor, flavor, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, that's so disgusting. Yeah, his dog, his dog did it twice. Mm. Yeah, she's okay. <laughs> cost me a lot of money. Never be the same. What do you mean she's okay? What, what costs you a lot of money? It's I have like, to call poison control. That they eat. It's, like, it's it's made to be. That's why it's flavored. Chris, you're not meant to eat a whole bottle. Also, <laughs> like not people. if you're like a ten pound dog. Yeah. <laughs> well, so wait, what did you call? Have you, you're have like, you just I've like got an emergency. I've got an emergency. My dog is full of loo. Yeah. <laughs> And, and then I, I told them, and, and, and well, it's we already not, told the story on the, I feel, yeah. I'll see you in later. The <laughs> but they need, they I, can't, I can't hold it. <laughs> it's not a cat. Look, I was trying to give it to it the cat, no, it might the offense. dog ate it. And I, <laughs> in my defense, I just said the brand name on the phone, and they immediately were like, oh, well, there's all these different types, like, based on the information you give us. So I'm not the only one this has happened to. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why would they have all of this other, they're going to have to send letters to your neighbors at some point. Well, guys, it's not fair. Your dogs can't. You can't. They Wait, can't. Why are you dragging me into this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting over here. They've never gotten anything they shouldn't have been in. No, because I'm a good dog owner. You, what do you mean? A, I keep an eye on my dog. Your wife like, all the dog time. Just follow them around. We both are. You are at work all the time. Yeah, but when I'm home, I keep an eye on them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Love those dogs. I would never let them get, eat an entire bottle of lube. It just <laughs> does it. Right. I don't even think I think you could eat as much lube as you want. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Uh, right, that well, being said, I'm also another, the man who thinks you can eat AIDS. We, <laughs> we, so, we need another. Know. <laughs> we can. We, we need we, another. We, we, life. I, yeah, what is the, like what is the thing life. that you could survive on? Like, say zombies and all that. All the food's gone. You're in a supermarket. What can you eat that's not food? Like, what would you just be able to survive on? What wax. Eat, what, what I think you can eat wax. Food? Yeah, like like sh you could probably eat a lube. Anything organic. Anything organic. You could survive on lube probably for yeah. a while, right? I believe it's organic. Do they, <laughs> is there vitamin? Does anybody have lube on them? Like, is there a nutrition? Like, don't a, ask that here. I don't want to know that. <laughs> it's like, yes, actually, I do have some. I need it all the time at work. <laughs> like, could you eat shampoo? No, I don't think no, so. No, no, I don't no, think no. so. Not unless it was organic. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> you're really pushing this organic thing. Do you want what the whole? What is your deal? <laughs> you know, what? organic doesn't doesn't mean like safe or anything. No, it, it just means you pay like five dollars more for something. No, organic you, means it means it's made of organic matter, right? You know what's <laughs> organic? Cyanide. His eyebrow went. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> organic doesn't mean like right, 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 safe for right, you right, or anything right, right. like that. We'll, we'll, we'll avoid the organic cyanide. <laughs> um, could you, could have, you you seen, have you been watching uh, Last Man on Earth? You have. You tweeted about it, didn't you? No. No, you didn't. Damn. I have TV. Mm. Really? Nah, don't bother with that. Mm. Someone else did. It's funny. I'll watch it. Yeah, I like that guy. Will Forte. I like MacGruber. <laughs> oh, was it's, it? it's it's uh, a. What's it about? It's he's it's like everyone on Earth is gone. Oh, it's a good title then. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it's just like it's been a, you know a couple of years, and it's just like what does he do or how does he survive? Some similar things like what can you eat? That's not. Food. Is it like a funny castaway? Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 he references Castaway a couple times. Hmm. It's it's really funny. You should watch it. Uh, then then uh, then like partway, I guess, through the first episode, he finds out that there's a woman who's also survived, and he fucking hates her. <laughs> <laughs> are you keeping up with any shows that have come back? I feel like uh, I'm... Last Man on Earth. I'm watching right now. Would um, you like are you Walking Dead? Or I don't or like anything? Walking Dead. Really? I'm waiting for Game of Thrones. They had a new Game of Thrones trailer during the uh, Apple thing today. Oh, they announced uh, HBO Now, which oh, is uh, fucking genius. You can now subscribe to HBO without needing cable. Oh, dude, and that's what I want. They're launching it exclusively on 
Apple TV, but you can also watch it on a web browser if you have a web browser. I have an Apple TV. So there you go. You can watch so, it. And it's for exclusive for like three months, yeah, right? It, yeah, and it starts in April when Game of Thrones comes back. And they lowered the price of yeah, the device. The Apple TV is now 69 bucks, and HBO Now is 49 wow. 9 a month. Wow, it used to be 99 mm -hmm. uh, So yeah. Apple TV is great. It's definitely the best Netflix experience. Like it's the best looking Netflix mm. you can watch is on Apple TV. Okay. Yeah, in my opinion. So, and uh, if people debate you, it's one well, thing, but it's like, you know, it's also the way it integrates the other content too. Like going to buy movies from another like you know outlet. Like everything is just everything about it is easy. Like every single thing you could click on is just like an easy watching experience. You don't oh, have wow. to like sign out of stuff and then like you need to validate your phone number and all that shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's solid. I was going to ask you, like, if you were the last man on Earth, Gus, like, is there, is there anyone who, is there a woman that would, that you would be placed with that you would be like, I'm not going to sleep with her? Probably. Was there, would there be someone who, like, made the cutoff where you're like, this person's too annoying or, like, too? Yes. Yeah? Yes, absolutely. Do you have that person in mind? I have many people like that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to name him. Don't, don't ask that follow-up question. That's, that's not next. But no, absolutely. With the human what if it was to save the I'd human be, race? I'd be happy with the human race dying. Yeah. I, knew, I knew that would follow up was coming. I don't happy know or... To be, fair, to be fair, I wouldn't want to continue the human race with, with my genes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to... Like, this, this is Adam. Well, I don't <laughs> want to restart is... humanity from me. <laughs> <laughs> but then what's step... What's step two? What well, do you mean? I mean... You know, if you, like, you... Life finds a way or whatever, you know... Well, you just keep, like, all your kids would have to shag each other until one of them wasn't a mutant, and then that one would have to shag the next one that was normal. Uh, no, I mean, I think he's right. No, no, I mean, I, I agree. Right, like, right? Right? like you would have to just, like, hope for the best. It'd be a lot of trial and error. Fingers. Yeah. Trial and error. You'd be clubbing a lot of babies today. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This, this has not been a good podcast for babies. <laughs> First you tried to make alcohol from them, and now you're clubbing them. Well, at least I didn't shag a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Classic it makes deflection. sense. What? It just makes sense. No, it doesn't at all in any way. Does no one follow the logic here? Nope. I'll get... You guys are all... In... <laughs> the, the, the most upsetting thing to me is that we're not getting the logic. That's what I really don't understand. No. I'm just saying, if y you say... They're porn, the drawing, and there's a lot of cats. We're done with it. We're done with cats. All right, I'm done. Sorry. Are you going to get a gold MacBook? <laughs> um, no, I just got my MacBook Air recently. I'll wait. I'll, again, I'll wait till they have another one. That USB connector looked like it could go both ways. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> like it could go, like it could provide data out, like Thunderbolt? No. Like, oh, I think it can. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Which is great because USB yeah. sucks. You, you always got to make sure the holes on the plug are on the top. I never mm -hmm. get that. The holes on the plug. Yeah, yeah. you know when your your USB that you're plugging in. Yeah. One side has two holes on it. Make yeah. sure that's you know, facing up. You know when that doesn't work? Sideways. When it's side when it's sideways. Yeah. <laughs> and then it only works when you know that you've been wrong. Yeah. So like, even if you're right, you're you're not committed enough to plug it in. Why you can't I, like, oh. why can't I get Siri to tell me like if you're like no 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 it's not right just put it in the other way. Like why isn't what? there some way to like integrate like because your phone already has a lightning connector which goes both ways. No, I thought we were talking about. They're talking about the computer. Yeah, but Siri wouldn't know what you're doing over there if it's not yeah. plugged in. Oh, I'm sure they can figure it out if, like, you're, like, jamming on, like, the How USB How the hell thing. are they going to get your phone to know which way you're plugging in something else? They have to... Um, people develop stuff all it's, the time. This is ridiculous. No, no, in well, three years, in, like, a year, a, we're going to be having this conversation about how, like... Gonna, like, some stuff, yeah, will happen in ten years. At no point, ten years <laughs> from now, are you going to be, like... And your phone's gonna go, ah, other way. It's not, no, yeah. Yeah. no, 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 no. It's no. just gonna be reversible. Yeah, like, I what swear to God it is. Oh, there won't be plugs and everything will be wireless. Yeah. What podcast number is this? Three, I'm gonna be 14, I think. All right, well, 315? I will 3, pull this back up. Oh, I'm getting told two numbers from the control room 14. 14. Fight. Yeah, Marielle was wrong. That's what I said, 14. Um, have, you, have you ever taken a dick pic? <laughs> this, is, this is, I'm going somewhere with this. Have you ever taken a dick pic? Go on. No, no, have you? I'm asking. No, I never have. Never? No. Ever. You know, you know who wants to see my dick? Nobody. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's nobody in the world who wants to see my dick. You have, you, you, have you, you've said, you've said, have you? Yeah, but it wasn't mine. <laughs> 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 what? So you've taken a picture of someone else's dick. No. Did you try to pass it off as your own? No. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. What do you mean it wasn't yours? It was someone else's. No, you no, took no. a picture of someone else's? No, it wasn't someone else's either. What are you saying? 
I just realized I might not be allowed to say what I'm talking about. Right, so I just, <laughs> Chris, <right>. go on. <laughs> have you ta- you taken one, right? Oh, go on. Finish your story. Well, no, I'm just saying. So, so we're doing. So that means that means yes, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you send it to someone or did you just show no, it? No, to no, no. We're, so we're, we're doing a um, a short where a character has to take a dick pic. You didn't have well, to do it for real, though, did you? Well, not not for real, but it's like it was like the 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 conversation is like, how do you take how do you take a dick pic, or like, what's your you know, I imagine what's, I would do what's it. What's your style? I would yeah. do it from underneath as a selfie. Yeah, so you're like waving. So it's like massive in no, front. No, but like if you're doing a selfie, you always want to take a picture from the top looking <laughs> no, down. No, 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 because then it's like, wow, he has a really big face and a small dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but no, you're doing it from your dick. It's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, wow, look how small his face is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to upstage yeah. your penis. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so, so we were talking about this short, and then I was like talking in the. J- I went to the gym with uh, Aaron, and we were, like, working out and stuff, and I was, like, talking about dick pics really loudly. And then I was, like, looking... Within at, the context of, uh, you know, uh, yeah, filming uh, a video. Yeah, which doesn't help when you're talking about <laughs> filming dick pics. Oh, yeah, I suppose not. No. But, uh, yeah, so then it, it, I, I, it's just, like, to me, it's, like, I, I feel like most people are taking a dick pic. Right? I guarantee you at least 50% of the world has not taken a dick pic. All right, well, or they I bet at least 100% of the world has received... <laughs> Has either taken or received one. I mean, it's dangerous in our industry. To what? To send a dick pic? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm Chris, you're were, you were in the gym, right? Yeah, yeah. And well, and just people are looking weird because I talk loud. Yeah, and it's funny because we were talking about this conversation that he had out here, and then I realized there's a lot of guests watching the podcast right now, and I have no idea who they are. And once again, <laughs> they think Chris and I are just talking about taking dick pics. No. So wait, what was the story there then? Oh, you it talked just, about taking a dick pic. Oh, yeah, well, just, and just it's like you talk, uh, it, people look at you weird when you talk about dick pics, oh. but I, I, I think it's something that most people have. I mean, it's not just, I think people look at you weird when you talk about dicks. Yeah. I think I talk loud is part of the problem, but. but you're usually um, quite quiet. Yourself, you're self-conscious about it? About talking loud? Yeah. <laughs> Over my dick pics. <laughs> Both. <laughs> so who has your dick pic? Uh, I don't think, I, no one, I don't think at this point. I haven't taken any in a long time. Like. <laughs> Wait, how young were you? I, <laughs> <laughs> just my neighbors got it. That's it. <laughs> no, but like, yeah, I agree. It's like you don't want to in our industry. You don't want to take nudes. So it's like yeah. I would honestly rather have my anus out there. Oh, yeah, than my penis. Yeah, I can see yeah, that. I agree with that. Why? I'll be, I'll be the contrary, and I have to ask why. It's just less intrusive. It like, it's like less so it's what? just kind of like it, no one wants. It says, like, there's a no lot to talk like, about. I with wonder the penis. what his butthole yeah. looks like. <laughs> yeah, there's, not, there's a lot to talk about. Like, you, I like, can't you could have people a, who are asking that. You uh, could have a discussion about someone's penis for like five minutes, probably. Yeah. yeah. Someone's anus, you'd be like, what was it like? He'd be like, oh, it's like just brown and shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it says less about you as a person. Why does a dick say anything about you as a person? Oh, because people be like, well, he's only doing that because of, you know, this. He has We're a just small joking dick. Off two no, people. This, <laughs> this is how people talk who are uppity. Oh. They're like, oh, he just got that fancy, well, you know, watch because he has a small dick, or yeah, or he's just like, being an asshole because he has, you know, yeah, or like that's why that guy has so much confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, really, it's honestly anything can be related to it, but you know, the asshole. No one ever like, been like, wow, that guy bought that nice car because of his <laughs> asshole. Because <laughs> he's got a giant loose asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like no one would else. Why would else? He's always so stressed <laughs> out because his asshole's so small and bunched <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> It's like putting a play do like a play doh star through every time he sits on the toilet. Play do, play do do. All right, well it's about time to wrap up. Uh, uh, okay, never mind. No. You got more? No. All right. Well, we gotta go. So we'll be back on Wednesday with an episode of the Patch. Thursday with on the spot, and then again next Monday with a special episode of RT Podcast. So thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, we can get oh, no. oh, oh, oh. You have failed to uphold your duty to Captain Pickles, Agent Washington. You lack diligence, Agent Washington. You question authority, Agent Washington. You must be eliminated, Agent Washington. Captain Pickles, Agent Washington has failed to meet the minimum requirements of Blue Team service and is no longer fit for duty. He must be eliminated.